Welcome in the third section of our course. In this section we'll be using project Malmo. We'll be doing it for reinforcement learning leveraging dynamic programming. So first video will be about adding Malmo library to our RL4j project. Also we will see how to set up type library on your local machine. Malmo is a library that gives us a simulations that could be used and interact with RL4j programs. The second video will be about analyzing possible scenarios that our program can solve. Then we'll be loading cliff walking simulation. We'll be configuring RL4j algorithm for cliff walking problem. And finally, we'll be starting Q-learning discrete dance and we'll be saving our results for reusing and evaluation. This is a first video in which we'll be adding a Malibu library to our RL4j project. So first step, we'll be downloading Malmo library. We'll download it and set up. We'll be adding Malmo to our project and we will configure path variables that will need to be set for our LR4J and Malmo wrapper. So here you need to go to the Microsoft GitHub and find out the Malmo library. This is a project Malmo, is a platform from artificial intelligence experimentation and research built on top of the Minecraft. So Minecraft is an engine, but we can develop different algorithms that interact with it using different techniques and solving different problems. So how to install it? So you need to have a pip installed on your computer. So pip is a Python dependency manager and you can do just pip free install Malmo. Then you need to have Java 8 set and also you need to set Malmo home path. So if you will go to your terminal, you will have Malmo home set to the specific directory to which you will download or clone your program. So I have that directory and within that directory there will be a lot of content. Let's go to the directory and if you will go here you can see that we have a Java examples here, we have some Python examples, we have schemas available, we have installed for Mac OS X and also we have a Minecraft. Minecraft will be used to start up our simulation. So this is a specific folder that you need to set. So let's go to the chapter 3 Malmo example. Right now we are at the step 1. So this is installing the Malmo script. In your code you can see that we have a cliff walking XML config path. This is very important configuration because it points us to the cliff walking rl4j.xml. This is an XML file that has all needed things from configuring your cliff walking algorithm. We'll be developing into that more in the subsequent videos, but right now you need to know that it is present here. So we can see that we are setting it to our user to Marshall like IntelliJ workspace directory. But for your example, if you will be running that, you need to change this to your local file system. And also, final step is to have the dependency to the Malmo. So if you remember, we added it as the RL4J Malmo. This is an API that gives an abstraction at top of the specific implementation and gives us abstraction to interact and write programs that interact with the Malmo environment. And to have that embedded, also you need to have Microsoft Java Jar for Marmo library in your project.